Hello and welcome to Ascended Stars, my beautiful Scorpio Ascenders. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is my take two of your reading. Uh, I didn't really feel it as um, I would have liked, but I'm going to give you the messages, um, even though I already did it, okay? Some of you are having a hard time sleeping. Uh, some of you really want to need to empower yourselves, but um, your heart is still healing this month. And um, there could be like some anger, some resentment within you that is hard because you had to walk away from something that um, is really meant to teach you a big lesson because you're supposed to be a leader, not a follower, okay? Um, and you're meant to be shining. You're meant to heal. You're meant to be the star. There's something about coming out, showing yourself, being empowered. Um, and so everything's working out in your favor and divine order to get you there. Uh, there is this passion within you that is submerged. It's like a submerged energy. And you still have to heal to bring it out, okay? Um, because there's a lot of passion for what you do and who you are and what you represent. And this month is going to be the month where you're absolutely probably going to have to, I feel like the word is explode with expression. Um, it, it's it's got It's gotten to the umph degree, right? So it's like, not that it's bad, but... Um, I feel it's going to bring you a lot of healing, but you're actually doing it for selfish reasons. Like, And family is really important. Perhaps you need to let go of somebody who passed away that you're um, having to deal with your life review and some kind of deep truth within this, this, uh, I'll show you, with this, with, within this paradigm, the truth about a family, family member, a family situation, it's very much eighth house based. Um, okay, so we're back to nine of swords. This has been keeping you up. It could be like lifetime after lifetime, something that, um, has been hindering you. So I decided to keep the cards. I didn't see them here uh, until right now. So let's get into the preliminaries on the new reading and take it from there because that was pretty intense. And that was just like, you know, a very small condensed version of what the other reading had. Uh, the sound was a little bit off. So I've decided to use my headset. My my computer still makes a lot of noise. Um, I did get this fixed before, but I don't know, maybe with the Mercury retrograde and the Uranus energy, it's popped up. Mechanical issues have popped up. I have five planets in Virgo, so um, Aquarius is affecting Mercury. And that's about the internet and equipment. All right, so let's see what the preliminary energies are for my Scorpios. But that was the last reading that, that could have been resonating for some of you. But I feel like that's kind of like a takeoff point, like a platform. Okay, so we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups energy. So this is telling me... <clears throat> what is it telling me? Let's see. The lovers not making a choice in love. Well, these are all reverse. Okay, so the Knight of Cups. So I think you are making a choice to choose love, is what I I think. I think you're choosing love, you're choosing yourself, you're choosing to um find someone who's gonna choose you. Yeah. In this deck, this is a lot of like soulmate energy. 
someone who's going to gravitate to you, someone who is going to recognize you, see your beauty, see that, see these two cute little cats there and their little tails are entwined. They choose you from the start. Like you want someone who will choose you. Good for you. The good for you. I'm proud of you, Scorpio. That's awesome. Um, you're not playing games. <clears throat> and so you're searching for this. You're looking. You're trying to find the right one. The one who's going to love you with the heart. Okay, you're really trying to be selective. I feel like this is more an energy of Scorpio being quite selective. Yes. You're going out for yours. You have a lot to offer, a lot to give. Um, you're ready to love. You, Many of you have dealt with this fifth house energy of um, your childhood. Some of you want to be mothers and you've already dealt with maybe your own mother issues. Or you have, you feel confident, you feel more established, more capable of dealing with um, any mother issue right now also. I'm picking that up whether it's your mother or you're a mother. Yeah, you're not really putting up with much right now. You're not putting up with a, a falseness. You're living from your authentic self, very scorpionic, living from your authentic self, uh, your soul. You hold the sword of truth. So you don't care if you rub people the wrong way. You're very confident in, in who you are. And what you got to give. You know you're loving. You know you're kind. You know you have um, a supportive way about you. But there is this energy of fear that I pick. Let's get let's get um a card for that. Let's get a card for that little clarifier. You want nothing but the best. You want commitment. Here is your counterpart, Taurus. Okay. You have, and with, with the cup energy, you have a lot of love to give. You're ready to give your cup of love. Okay. You are ready to give your cup of love. And um, you might have already, this month coming in, in uh, March 2021, you might have your eyes set on someone and you're taking it slow. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're taking it slow. That's beautiful. I think like, you know, that you're not going to, I think that's why the cup energy is coming in the Knight of cups, because you want to feel them out. You want to feel how warm or hot that weather, that, that, that water is or how cold it is okay yes all right so you're really asking questions you're digging you're trying to uh calculate if this is the one so you're you're at a very good place here to meet someone because you're using logic and you're using your emotion sparingly you're not going into it head first <clears throat> and you have a vision a dream you know how much you're in a good place. You're looking at this positively with the sunflowers and uh, the pregnant woman there. You are, I feel like you've done a lot of work in your fifth house, which is about your dreams, your passions, and your childhood. And you want nothing less than real authentic love. And you want someone who chooses you as much as you choose them. And spirit is bringing this to you now. You are open to it. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. That is the um, preliminary energy. We're going to dig into what the archangel messages are um, first to kind of, I, I pick a lot to give us like where, where spirit wants us to really focus or what they want us to receive regarding um, new love for it. Scorpio. 
or returning love. Who knows? We're still in the retrograde energy. Today is Saturday um, all over the world, but it uh, um, the retrograde is going direct, but it's going to be in shadow. Okay, that's what I'm being guided to tell you. Archangel Michael, so you are protected. Um, you've done a lot of work and you've shielded yourself and I feel like Archangel Michael's not going to allow anyone to hurt you anymore and to come in and um, mistreat you. I think you've meditated. I think you're in a very peaceful place. You're not coming from chaos or from a, a deep need or a desire of um, unhealthiness. And again, I do feel you've done the inner child work. It's been, It has not been easy. It has been very um lonely is what i get and difficult but uh you tempered those waters that you needed to make peace with maybe you discovered secrets that you know from the eighth house plutonian house about yourself about past conduct um in general not just necessarily you like family patterns And something wonderful is coming to you this month, or it had it has already happened. Um, it is man is it in the place of manifestation? It is here already. So it's your it's your choice whether you choose to accept it or not. But um, spirit wants to bless you, and they want you to feel like you you can move in the right direction. Also, because of the fact that she's looking to the past, this represents the past. I feel that um, it's a dream you've been wanting for a while. It's something that you've asked for for a while. So it's like Dharma is returning to you to give you this answered prayer. That's beautiful. So you have to trust that spirit is um, taking over. You're asked to be more in tune to God, to the higher realms, um, that you're protected, that um, there's some things that are not known, but you're supposed to trust it and you're going to be guided and protected. So you're, 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 they're looking at you like you've passed the test. We now we need you to trust us. We need you to, to, to um, remain in faith. Because something big's coming to you, okay? It's not it's not like a little thing. It's it's something that's going to set you and empower you, okay? Um, you've been playing it small, my Scorps, I feel. So Archangel Ariel, your material needs are provided as you follow your intuition and manifest your dreams into reality. Gorgeous, gorgeous uh, situation happening for you at this time. Okay, what other messages want to come in? Um, I do want to see. Hold on, I got the other deck here. Hang tight. I'm going to have to put these back in, see if they come out. Because uh, let's be fair. Let's be fair. I do feel like there's a a balance of the scales. I feel like you've guys been through it. And some of you have closed your hearts. So it's very hard for you to heal from that situation. Whatever happened, um, you've been very deeply wounded or injured. But I'm also being called to tell you that some of this woundedness is what you've come here to fix, what you've come here to deal with. It's about transforming it. Um, don't run away from it. Don't stop doing the work. Uh, you got to go through it. You can't ignore it. Okay. Yeah. It's a mystery. The mystery is here. It's still not able to completely... Um, 
they can't tell you everything right now okay it like in due time you will come to understand why things played out the way that they played out but i do feel like it caused um it caused you a lot of injury like a soul injury it feels like a soul injury inflicted like an infliction which has made my scorpios somewhat close their hearts Okay, let's see what they have to say. You're going to be victorious, even though it's a mystery coming up, like around the corner, you can't see what's happening. You will be victorious in this situation. The swan, yep, you're transforming. You're transforming. You're trusting the psychic gifts now. Um, you're in a place of where you've healed a lot and they're going to be talking to you. See, you're going to be getting the downloads here and you're going to be able to move in confidence and trust. You're going to be getting a lot of communication this month from your sister sign Pisces in the um, psychic realms. Okay, in the psychic realms, you also might be having a psychic communication with a lover or a potential lover or uh yes i feel like it's new love darling i feel like it's new love a potential lover you might be at a distance but you do have already a psychic connection building this month i love it i do feel like getting another color and i'm seeing the deck that they want me to use for you how interesting okay Okay, so pay attention to the omens, the messages. Um, they're guiding you. Looking at things from a higher perspective this month, okay, is going to cause you not to feel, uh, to get, to get, to connect the dots and to feel like um, this lesson or this pain will lessen because you'll, you'll, you will have built a perspective. Like you won't be so into it, but you're still healing. Okay, so you they're asking you to risk, to risk, risk, uh, take a risk in love. But you still have to clear your space. You have to clear all your um, emotional baggage. You're still working on releasing. But this month, I think it's going to be released. And then you can take that risk. Or because you want to take a risk, you, you want to speed up the process of releasing. Okay, lovely. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. Okay, so let's, um, okay, let's see what the messages are for Divine Feminine. And I did get the deck. Well, they're going to tell me who it's for. I'm going to pick two decks, one for Divine Masculine, one for Divine Feminine. But as I was uh, working with, I hope I have that deck. Where is it? I saw it in my mind's eye deck here it is okay this is the deck that i saw all right let's put these aside okay that is the first deck i saw and what do they want me what other deck do they want me to use which i didn't get a vision on um I think this one would do. All right, so I felt this is for Divine Feminine right here. Um, okay, who wants to speak to us first? Divine Feminine? Or Divine Masculine Scorpio? Divine Feminine? Yeah. All right. So Divine Feminine, it looks like they want to speak to us first regarding um, the messages for you. And let's look into the um, angel cards. 
I mean the romance angels for divine feminine. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. You're still doing more work. You're still healing um, <clears throat> something that happened, something that you need to address, that they want you to pay attention to, something that you came in here to, to work through in this lifetime. All right. <clears throat> My own go there. What else do we have? Attraction. Okay. So there's a lot of attraction here with you and your person. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my God, this one flipped out. Soulmate. So you're so close. You're working so diligently on this connection. Um, spirit is definitely rewarding you. Okay. Then we got three more. Wow, I'll keep those for later. As I um, let's get into the messages now. What does Divine Feminine need to know? <sighs> she's healing and she's gonna be connected to her soulmate. Four of Cups. Three of Pentacles. I think there's a lot of hesitation either from you or from this person that's coming in. I do feel they're a new person. For some of you, they could be an older, I um, mean, you know, a past person. Maybe they're older. But uh, you're closed off. I feel like you're closed off to a past person. I feel like that window, that door, you're giving the impression it's done. It's done. It's it's. That's very scorpionic, right? You're like, I'm not going back. Um, but three of pentacles is... I almost feel like the universe is working... Is working to soften you up about a past individual for some of you. Uh, this looks like Stonehenge in the air. I, I'm, I'm going to be daring and say some of you are breaking a soul contract, okay, where you, this person um, was meant to come into, in, you were meant to work together, be together, but um, something happened, okay, where either they broke the contract or, or, or you waited for them, it was very painful, and now you're you're breaking the contract, you're not... You're not going in for this. Um, I think this person's taking too long healing, and you're not going in to be accommodating towards this. You're getting control of your emotions, okay? You're definitely gaining control of your emotions. You're ready to fly. You're ready to go forward this month. King of Swords. Yeah, you've grown cold. You've grown cold to wait for this person. It's it's um. Some of you, it's been a very difficult lesson to learn about about the past person, about the past relationship. The or oh, they were very cold. They were very distant. They have closed their heart off. Another another message is that they've learned their lesson, and now they want to come. They're, they've learned their lesson. Now they want to come. Um. But they're not romantic and they're not like loving and they're not like I feel like you had a lot of, of, of affection for this person and they killed it. They killed it by distance, by ghosting, by doing all kinds of other things because of their own childhood traumas which 
you're led to understand this now, but you're not entertaining it. You're not... You're really at a place where, okay, I get it. I get it. I get I get that they were a catalyst for some kind of something going on for you to heal and to empower yourself. And you don't want to give more to that energy. This person's going to come with a, um, like, oh, let's have lunch. Let's have, let's connect and have a coffee. Very, um... weak I, I i just i don't have any other word i always call it weak it's a, it's it's like they don't have more to give they don't they're gonna give all they have but it's not it's not as much as you can give okay and and what i pick up is like a, a barn full of 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 grain like a, you have a whole barn a whole barn full of grain okay it's all there so you could feed like a, a town and and this person only has enough for the day. Um, they don't have a lot to give. They don't have a lot to give. I just feel like they do not have a lot to give and they have a lot of growing up to do. But they're using all their force to pretend that they have passion and a lot to give. But I don't think this person has a lot to give. Seven of Swords. You're, you're, you're going to be conflicted. So this offer is going to come to you and you're going to be conflicted because this is going to be part of your karma that if you slayed all your dragons, this person's going to retest you. So it's like a retesting time. Yes, it's a retesting time for you to see if you want to go into this iceberg cold, um, unavailable person, emotionally unavailable person. But they are going to, the, somebody's going to come it doesn't have to be this person, but they might feel like this person. They have a lot of the energy like this person. Um, but you're going to have to gain control of the situation here. Okay. You are the one that's in control. They're not emotionally in control. They think that they are, but there's like a iceberg energy here that they're freaking ice cold. Okay. Um, they have not that much to offer. And this is going to be a lesson for you. Are you going to go back to this? Okay, you have to slay your dragons. So you're going to be conflicted. Your logic is going to overpower. Hopefully your logic overpowers your heart. But this person, um, there's a spiritual contract. This person was meant to tease you, taunt you, tempt you. Oh, I like that. Tease you, taunt you, tempt you. Um, and you're supposed to like know that you deserve much more. And a soulmate is coming. A soulmate is coming. Okay. Um, the soulmate may not you it just be very may be very slow moving. The attraction is there. I feel this person is very manly, like very masculine, um, because of this father. Because I always think of the father energy with this healing. So your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So I feel like uh some of my divine feminine scorpio have to forgive their masculine their father okay they have to forgive um in the ethers if they've passed away or in the 3d um and 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 be, in doing so the universe is going to reward you with your actual soulmate wow that was intense but it's so beautiful i mean it really is a platonian message directly for you uh, my divine feminine Scorpios. Okay, you have to have the trust, your answered prayer. You've been wanting this. You've been lonely. You've been. You haven't had that kind of um, reciprocal love in a long, long time. I feel. And that's why you have Archangel Michael here saying you are protected. We want to bring somebody to you, but we got to test you and make sure that you're going to accept this, that you're going to be ready for it. The real deal, the real deal. Okay, nice. Um, okay, so I did tell you, I was going to tell you about the, um, I'm going to have to hide Archangel Michael because he, he won't show up there, about the other our, uh, romance angel cards. So they're asking you to stay optimistic. Because this person might bring you down. Like, it might bring a lot of memories. Yeah, because, I mean, I see this. Uh, where is it? I mean, it's pretty scary. I guess this is, this is why they wanted me to use this deck. This person's going to really tempt you. Uh, send you back into... A, a, 
it's a spiritual battle okay the enemy doesn't want you to find your true soulmate so it's going to be you're going to have to really connect to god connect to spirit so you can see with your spiritual psychic eye and not with this human um 3d eye okay you have to stay optimistic because you know you walked away for, from something for a reason, not to go back to it. So this is something you have to slay yourself. No one can do it for you. The next one is um, children, okay? They want you to think about your children. They want you to think, um, like if you bring this person back who, who you cut off or walked away from is this person a good influence for your children are they really going to be beneficial um probably not probably not if you really gave it some true deep thought and um it's time for you to commit to you so once you commit to you you can enjoy engagement with another a higher level of engagement your love life is ascending to a bigger level of commitment, okay? So you, you can't accept something that somebody isn't ready to give. And if they weren't ready then and they're ready now because you are now, now you have somebody coming to you that really from the get-go wants to start something beautiful and new and loyal and commit. But you're going to give somebody else a chance who's already screwed you over because of the past and because you're loyal to it. And, and that will be your... Um, De detriment is what I hear. That will be your detriment, okay? Then you will have no one to blame but yourself. And if you want to do that, hey, we're, we all have free will. But understand there is a price to pay. Uh, you're not here to, to save anyone. And you're not here to uh, be a doormat for anybody, okay? Don't let your loyalty and your love be misguided by stupidity and um naivety you're that's the last thing that scorpio is but when it comes to love they got you right so you have to love yourself more you have to feel like um i can trust spirit they're gonna they are going to bring in this other person i feel this is the actual battle happening in the higher realms for you interesting okay uh Let's get into the Divine Masculine. We're going to use this one here. And um, we're just going to see what's going on for Divine Masculine. With the Romance Angel cards. Retreat. Hmm. First card. First card out. Retreat. You're still healing, Divine Masculine. You haven't fully healed from whatever escapade you had in the past. It's safe for love. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart. Okay, so you're retreating because you, ha you have your heart closed, okay? And you don't feel it's safe yet. Until you feel it's safe for you to love, then um, you can take refuge in this love. But you're not feeling that right now. This month, it, it's probably too emotional. Yeah. Okay, so you don't feel as empowered uh, quite yet as you would like to be able to get involved. You still have some healing work to do, maybe from the past that you haven't fully um, healed. You haven't fully mended the past connection. Okay, so let's, okay, first card up is Hierophant. So we're dealing with a spiritual lesson about commitment, maybe marriage. That one just flew out. Okay, that one will not come in. Um, the Three of Cups. So you don't want to be in this energy. Maybe you were put into a third party situation or you put somebody in, into a third party situation um, I do feel like some of you are committed and married and you don't know how to get out of it and you're stuck. And um, yet you don't want to bring anybody into it or maybe you have and and it never quite, maybe you're playing a dangerous game. <laughs> dangerous game. 
Okay, um, page of cups reversed. You don't, okay. I'm getting that some of you are wounded. You don't want to, you don't want to bring a third party. I think you respect this person. You're respecting yourself. Um, I think you really know that you, you, I think that there's this extreme energy with you. Like either you want a, a commitment or nothing at all. Um, and I think some of you look at the bottom of the deck. We have the eight of swords. You're feeling very stuck on what to do. Like, should you go out? And because um, I, I don't think you're happy in, in the connection you're in right now. I don't think uh, it's rewarding. It's gratifying. So you're taking this retreat time to figure it out. And um, I feel like you were with involved with some. I think there's a third party here that you that is making you wonder about your commitment to the person that you're with. And you're not feeling it like you did with the person that you're really committed with a marriage. Yeah. Here we go. Three of swords. So I think somebody or just the energy, like you don't feel it anymore for this person. And yet because you're Scorpio, you, you tend to be loyal. You tend to be uh, sticking it out longer than you should. But you're being guided to really retreat, to love yourself. And when it feels safe for you to love, then you should move in and... Um, make these moves may you know start to start but i think you're just in a place that you need to heal again this could be like you got involved with the karmic and and they remind you a lot of this uh divine masculine divine feminine energy of uh something you have to heal with your mother or your father it's probably your father so you might have a very dominant type of individual like a female dominant tells you what to do how to do it it felt safe at the time but now you're feeling maybe suffocating and and um like you know you need to have your own say and you you might have gotten involved with something that was uh yeah you don't want to move forward with it two of wands you're not making a choice and you don't want to move forward with this situation so this month it feels very watered down it feels like you have to heal it feels like um you have to separate from a really deep commitment, maybe years together, and, and you don't want to do that. Like, you don't want to really go into this energy of of um, getting involved with, you know, separation or something like like that. Uh, okay, so what can we... Let's, let's look at the chakra cards for you guys, because these are... This is pretty emotional for the Divine Masculine. This is pretty intense. Um, they're very much into commitment, but... They don't want to commit to this partner. I think they've been with them for a while. They're not feeling it anymore. I think you guys feel somebody else approaching. Something higher, better, um, more accommodating to you. Service. Okay, so maybe a lot of you are dealing with um, family members or a broken heart from a family member that has passed on or is sick right now. Uh, or you're being guided to not focus on love and focus on the family right now. Focus on family for Divine Masculine. Um, I don't know why perception's here. I honestly got a blank on that. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see why. You got to change your perception. You got to change and transform. Two butterflies. Wow. Okay. Facade. Okay. This is a wound from the father. Okay, this is a father. Definitely with these two cards. Where's my other one? Uh, what did I do? Oh, here it is. Okay, with these two right here. Where is it? No, that's not it. This one. Definitely Divine Masculine Scorpio is dealing with a father wound. Okay. Um, so let's say you're a Divine Feminine. This ain't happening for you, but you're looking at your counterpart. It, it could be this... This could be your counterpart. They're dealing with father issues or they had come in with a template of a deep father issue. Capricorn, perhaps. Uh, so they could be that you're the divine feminine and the divine masculine is dealing with this. They're not quite ready. You can't push them. They're still waiting to feel safe, to love, to be. And they're going to be in retreat mode. But they are looking at commitment. But they, they maybe they didn't have a father role. So they need to learn to love themselves. They need it. They don't have a template on on how to how it's supposed to be in relationships. They've been playing it by ear. Okay. Um. But they sure know they don't want to be in third parties anymore. They don't want to have like they don't. They 
the nice thing is that they don't want to be um, switching back and forth, you know, playing games. They're, they're, they're coming to a complete completion of how they feel about love. That's beautiful. So that's why, again, Spirit says trust. And this is an answered prayer. Okay? And you are protected here with Archangel Michael. Okay, so let's get some beautiful mystical oracle. Where are you? <laughs> here we are. Okay. Okay, we're going to pick one angel card. Angel Oracle and um, the Mystical One Angel card. Ascension. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Of course, I would say that here at Ascended Stars. Uh, let's let's get up. I have to cover it up. I apologize, but I'm gonna read it to you. Number 43. Oh, this is so lovely, Scorpio. I'm so happy for you. So it says, um, the, can you see it? It's kind of dark. Apologies. Take some time to reconnect with nature. Allow yourself to be drawn in by the wonders of the natural world. They will lead you to your inner divinity and help you tap into deep reservoirs of peace and light within. And the affirmation says, I take time for myself. Nothing is more important than myself. In nature, I find my inner peace and tranquility. I delve into your inner sanctuary. <sighs> Definitely, this is about the family because of the tree and the hands, okay? And you are to pray over your family and, and uplift them. There is some kind of dynamic with Scorpio template. Um... I hate to say this, but it's sex. So it could be like in ancestral line, somebody got raped and it just really broke the, broke the, um, it, it brought some really bad karma. That's all I got to say. But, uh, so the hands, um, I think it's, I think, I think it's important that you learn to trust and just hold hands with this person and build your trust. I feel that's what's coming in. But it's a, such a gorgeous energy. Like, you're going to feel um, secure with this person. Like, you're going to feel uh, protected with this person coming in. You're going to feel, you're going to trust them, okay? And I want to get the um, mythical. Let's get a couple of these for you. And we'll end the reading. For your Pisces uh, month, your, your water month. Battle of the Blues. Take steps towards positive change. I think this is your person. I don't think it's you, Scorpio, but it could be for some of you, the masculines, right? Um, I feel that <sighs> I feel like some truth is going to come out, okay? And it's going to really hurt um, or you really looking at the truth, like when you grab the horns by the head, um, and really like say, I'm going to deal with this, but it's, it's, um, it's the end of this burden of this truth. It's, it's like you're processing it and, and it's, um, but I do feel there's a lot of family stuff here. Like it's painful, like it hurts, like you are seeing things from a higher perspective and you're having a lot of compassion for others, which is going to cause you to have compassion for yourself. Dragonfly, okay? You've got to slay your dragons for some of you. Some of this is within your own past, of course. Live life to the fullest. So some of you have been tormented by something for quite some time and you've been carrying this heavy burden. But it's time that you lay down the burden, lay down that backpack at the feet of God and um, let him take care of this. You are meant for wonderful, more uh, beneficial, and your potential is out there for you. So you have to learn to go and get it, to go and trust it. Okay, one more thing, Spirit. Here we go. Yeah. This is so perfect for you, Scorpio. Uh, you're really on this journey of self-reliance. You do not need to depend on others. So 
um, this is going to be some realities of where you are codependent. It could be with family members, but you're this month, you're really going to transform yourself. You're really going to stand and you're going to shine. Look how beautiful she's shining. And you're going to come out your authentic self, um, having survived a lot. So uh, that message says, don't be afraid to fly solo. So I feel like this is separating yourself from your family. They're still there helping you in the ethers and the astral plane and your archangels and ancestors and white light. But you have to go and take, you know, charge of your life and push through. You know, like I said, grab the, the bull by the horns. And it's funny because that is the bull is your counterpart. So you have to value yourself and you have to value the, the, the things that you bring into the world and who you are. And you have to have this self-reliance. You can't depend on anybody. And that's what you're being chiseled like a diamond to be. That beautiful Scorpio energy. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I have a special down below. And it's at the show box more. Give this a thumbs up if you've made it this far. A like. Um, and I'm wishing you the best, Scorpio, in the month of Pisces season. Take care. Bye-bye.